Hi guys, I'm back. Today I'm going to read Acts 6 to 11, Proverbs 18, and Psalm 84. Let's get started. And then in those days when the disciples were increasing in number, they complained by the Hellenists arose against the Hebrews because their widows were being neglected in the daily distribution and told them the full number of the disciples and said, It is not right that we should give up preaching the word of to serve tales. Therefore, brothers, pick out among you some men of good repute, full of the spirit and of wisdom, whom we will appoint to this Jew, who will divide ourselves to pray into the ministry and of the word. And what they said pleased the whole gather. And they chose Stephen, a man full of faith and of the heart. Holy Spirit and Philip and Procurus and Nicanor and Time, Timon and Palmenus and Nicolaus and a personally of Antioch. And these they set before the apostles, and they prayed and laid their hands on them. And the wrath of God continues to increase. And now the disciples multiplied greatly in Jesus. And a great many of the priests became obedient to the faith. And Stephen, full of grace and power, was doing great wonders and signs among the good people. And some that she belonged to the synagogue and the freedmen and of the Cyrenians. And the exiled Jews, Alexandrians, and those from Cilicia and Asia, Asia, raised and disputed with Stephen, that they cannot understand the wisdom and the spirit with which he was speaking. And they see the lean instigated men, he said, You have heard you blasphemy as well as against most of you. And stand up for you when the hours in the sky. And they came on him and seized him and brought him before the council. And they set up false witnesses. And he said, He said, And never ceased to seek the words against this holy place and the law. We have heard him say that Jesus, this Jesus Nazareth would show this place and would change the customs that most delivered to us. And gazing at him, always sat in the castle, so his face was like the face of an angel. And I repeat, said, Are these things, sir? And Stephen said, Brothers and fathers, hear me. The God of God appeared to our father Abraham, and he said, was in the of Tania. The boy lived in Haran, and said to him, Go out from your land to your, and from your kingdom, and go to the land that I will show you. And so he, and he went out from the land of the Chaldeans and lived in her. After his father died, God removed him from there into this land in which he went out with him. He gave him no inheritance, not even a foot's length, and promised to give it to him as a possession and to his offering after him, though he had no child. And God spoke to this effect that his offering would be so generous. His sojourners in the land belonged to others, and who would, and who would enslave them and afflict them 400 years. Now judge the nation that they serve, said God, and after that they shall come out and worship me as a nation, and will worship me in this place, uh, in this place. And he gave them the covenant of circumcision. So, and so Abraham became the father of Isaac. Isaac and circumcised him from the eighth day. Isaac became the father of Jacob, and Jacob of the twelve patriarchs. And the patriarch, jealous of Joseph, sold him into Egypt. And God was with him, and rescued him out of all his afflictions, and gave him faith and wisdom before Pharaoh, and king of Egypt. He made him ruler of Egypt, and ruled for all his household. And now there came a famine throughout all Israel, Egypt, and king, and great affliction, and our fathers could find no food. And then Jacob heard that there was great in Egypt. He sent out our fathers on their first visit. And on the second visit, Joseph made himself known to his brothers, and Joseph's family became known to Pharaoh. And Joseph sent and saw Jacob's father. Jacob's father and all his kindred, seventy-five persons in all. And Jacob went down into Egypt and he died. He and our fathers and they were carrying back to Shechem and they did the two. They ate by my brother and son of silver, um, the sons of Hamor, sons of Hamor and Shechem. But at the time of the prophet's journey, this God had granted to Abraham. The people increased and multiplied in Egypt until they arose. Who arose over Egypt and that the king who did not know Joseph. He dealt surely with our race and forced our fathers to expose their infants. So that they would not be kept alive. At this time, Moses was small, and he was beautiful in God's sight. He was brought up for three months, brought up for three months in his father's house. And when he was exposed, Pharaoh's daughter adopted him and brought him up as a man. So Moses was instructed in all the wisdom of the Egyptians, and he was mighty in his works, words and deeds. When he was forty years old, he came to his heart to visit his brother and children of Israel. And in seeking one of the being one, he defended the oppressed men and avenged him by striking down the Egyptians. His brothers and brothers would understand that God was giving them salvation by his hand, but they did not understand. And the following day he appeared to them as they were quarreling and tried to reconcile them, saying, And you are brothers, why do you wrong each other? But the man who was wrong his neighbor thrust them aside, saying, Why are you made your rule and your judge over us? Do you want me to do you want to kill me as you killed the Egyptian yesterday? And at this retort Moses fled the king of exile and the land of Midian, where he became the father of Jesus. And when forty years had passed, an angel over here to in the wilderness of Mount Sinai, in the flame of fire in the bush. And Moses saw he was amazed at the sight, and he drew near to him, and there came the voice of God. 
I was so little. I am the God of your flock, the God of Abraham, of Isaac, and of Jacob. And most of them did not dare to run. And the Lord said to take off the sandals from your feet, or oh, the place where you are standing is horrible. I shall always see the affliction of my people who are in and have had their grain, and have come down to deliver. And now come, I will send you to Egypt. And as Moses you may reject it, say, We will make you a royal and a judge. This man God sent is both royal and redeemed by the hand of Adrian who appeared to him in the bush. This man led them out of all the wonders and signs in Egypt, and after the Red Sea in the wonders for forty years. This is the Moses who said to the Israelites, I will raise up for your prophet like me from your mouth. This is the one who is in the congregation in the wilderness with the angel. And you who spoke to him at Mount Sinai with her father. He received living oracles of yours. Her father refused to obey him, but thrust him aside. And in their house they returned to Egypt, saying to him, And he first got himself a great before. And this was the Moses who led us. Now from the land of Egypt, we do not know what has become of him. And they made a calf in those days. And offered a sacrifice to the idol and rejoicing in the works of their hands. And they got to him and gave them. Gave them over to worship the host of him, and as it is written in the book of the prophets, he did bring to him slain beasts and sacrifices during the forty years in the wilderness of house Israel. He took the tent of Moloch and the star of the god Rapha, and even Joseph he made to worship, and also he went to exile beyond Babel. And father had the tent of witness in the wilderness, just as he spoke to Moses directed him to make it, going to the plan that he had seen. And father said to him, brought it with Joshua. He yeah, brought Joshua and they dispossessed the nation. I got Jehovah out before our fathers. So it wasn't until the days of David. We found favor in the sight of God and asked to find a dwelling place for the God of Jacob. And the Solomon who built a house for him. Yet the man that he does not dwell in houses made by hands. As the prophet says, Heaven is my throne, and the earth is my footstool. What kind of house will you build for me? says the Lord. What is the place of my rest? Did you make not many hand? Did not my hand make all these things? You stiff many people and circumcised in heart of these. You wish was the Holy Spirit. As your fathers do, so do you. Which the prophet did your fathers not persecute? He killed those who had asked before him in the coming of the righteous, one whom they have now, whom you have now betrayed and murdered. You who received the law as delivered by angels, and did not keep it. Now when they heard these things, they were embraced, and they ground their teeth at him. But he full of the Holy Spirit gazed into heaven, and saw the glory of God, and did to the right hand of God. And he said, Behold, I see the heavens open, and saw him standing at the right hand of God. But they cried out with a loud voice, and stopped their ears, and rushed together at him, at him. And then they cast him out of the out of the city and stoned him, and the witnesses laid down their guns at the feet of a young man named Saul. And as they were stoned, Stephen, they called out, Lord Jesus, receive, receive my spirit, and fall into his nature, cried out with a loud voice, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. When he said this, he fell asleep. Saul approved of his execution, and there arose on that day great persecution against the church in Jerusalem, and they were all scattered throughout the generation, regions of Judea and Samaria, except the apostles, throughout men buried shepherd. Stephen and made great lamentation over him. So was ready, ravaging the church, entering house after house. He dragged off men and and commanded them to visit. Now those who scattered went about preaching the word. They all went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed to them the Christ. And the crowds with one accord paid attention to what was being said by Phil. When they heard him, the soul was like, that he did. The Holy Spirit crying out with a loud voice, and he out of many who had them. And many who were paralyzed and waiting for him. And there was so much joy in that city. And that there was a man named Simon. He had very much more practice managing in the city, and many the people of Samaria, and then saying that he himself was someone who somebody could he would pay attention to and the least of the greatest thing. The son of how God is called great. And then they paid attention to him because for a long time he had amazed them with his magic. And they believed Philip as he preached good news about the kingdom of God. And in the name of Jesus Christ, they were baptized. They found him only in the throne and self belief. And after being baptized, he continued with Philip. And see, he said he great miracles before he was made. Now then, when the apostles at Jerusalem had the Samaria and received the word of God, they sent to them, being an angel. He came down and prayed for them that they might receive the Holy Spirit. But he had not yet fallen on any of them, that they had uh, be only been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And they laid a hand on them and received the Holy Spirit. And then the signs of the Spirit was given to the lame on them. But the apostles and healed them and said, Give me this power as a vest, so that anyone who I may lay my hands on may receive the Holy Spirit. And Peter said to him, he saw her perish with you because you thought you could obtain the gift of God with money. You have neither part nor lot in this man, nor your heart is not right before God. Repent therefore of this wickedness of yours, and pray to the Lord, pray to the Lord that if possible, the intent of your heart may be forgiven. You so I see that you are in the gall of bitterness and in the bond of iniquity. And Simon is praying me, praying for me for the Lord, that nothing of which you say. 
they come for me. And when they testify and the blood from them, they return to Jerusalem, beating the most of many villages and the Samaritans. And when the angel of the Lord said to them, the rising go toward the south, and then to the right that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza. This is a desolate place, and he rose and went, and there was an Ethiopian man, and I'm sure quite a picture of Candace, green of the Ethiopians. Ethiopian. He was in charge of all the church. He had come to Jerusalem to watch it and was returning, sitting in his chariot. He was waiting for Papa Isaac, and the spirit said to Philip, Go over and join him in the chariot. Go over and join this chariot. So Philip ran to him and heard, heard him ring Isaiah the prophet and said, Sir, do you understand what you are reading? And he said, How can I, unless someone guides me? And he invited Philip to come up and sit with him. And then he found the passage of the scripture that he was reading with him. And like a sheep who has led to slow, and like a lamb before its share is sung, so he opens his mouth, and his humiliation, just as was denied, he can describe his generation, for his life is taken away from the earth. And the ash said to Philip, about whom I ask, does the prophet say this, to write himself for someone else? And Philip opened his mouth, and beginning, and beginning with the scripture, he told him the good news about Jesus. And as they were going along the road, he came to someone, and then he said, see, here's what I want to prevent me from being baptized. Baptized, and he commanded the chariot to stop, and they both went into the water. Into the water. And the other chair, see, there is water. And he commanded the chariot to stop, and they both went down into the water. Philip and the other chair baptized him. And they came up out of the water. The spirit of the Lord carried Philip away, and the other saw him no more. And when he went out of his way, he rejoiced. But Philip found himself at Azotus. And as he passed through, he preached the gospel to all the towns that until he came to Caesarea. And Saul was still being threats and murder against the disciples of the Lord. Disciples of the Lord went to the high priest and asked him for letters to the synagogue at Damascus, and so that if he found any belonging of the way, belonging to the way, men or women, he might bring them bound to Jerusalem. Now, as he went on his way, he approached Damascus, and suddenly a light from heaven shone around him, and falling to the ground, he heard the voice saying to him, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? And he said, Who are you, Lord? And he said, I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. And arise and answer this you, and you will be told what you are to do. The men who were traveling with him stood speaking to him, but hearing the voice and seeing no one, so it was from the ground, and if there was, although his eyes were open, he was on nothing, so they let him fire through the hand, and brought him into Damascus. And for three days he was with that son, and neither ate nor drank. Now there was a disciple of Damascus named Ananias. And the Lord said to him in a vision, Ananias, he said, Here I am, Lord. And the Lord said to him, Rise and go to the street, and fall straight, and the house, and the house of Jesus, and look for a man of Tarsus, named Saul, for behold, he is right. And he seen the vision of a man named Ananias come in, and laid hands on him, so that he might regain his sight. And I said, Lord, I have heard from many about this man, how much evil he has done to your saints at Jerusalem. And he has authority from the two priests to buy all and call in your name. But the Lord said to him, for he is a church in Israel, and I shall carry my name before the Gentiles and the children of Israel. I will show you how much you must suffer for the sake of my name. And then I must depart and enter the house. And laying his hands, hands on, on him, he said, By the sword, the Lord Jesus, who had to, and who appeared to you on the road. Well, when which you came and sent me, so that you may be clean your sight, be filled with the Holy Spirit. And immediately something like scales fell fell from his eyes, and he regained his sight. And he rose and was baptized, and taking food, he was strengthened. For seven days he was with the disciples at Damascus, and immediately he, he reclaimed so Jesus in the synagogue, saying, Here's the Son of God. And all he heard him were amazed and said, It's not this the man who made havoc. He made havoc in Jerusalem of those who called upon this name. Has he not come here for this purpose to bring them out for the chief priests? And so the priest ordered them more and strength. He confound the Jews by living, who lived in Damascus by proving that Jesus was the Christ. The many Jews have asked the Jews' blood to come, but the blood became known to Saul. They were watching the gates day and night in order to come. And his disciples took him like that and let him down through the opening in the wall. And they him in the basket. When he had come to Jerusalem, he attempted to join the disciples. And they were all afraid of him, and they did not believe that he was a disciple. But Barnabas took him and brought him to the apostles, and declared to them how on the way he had seen the Lord who spoke to him, and how at Damascus he had preached boldly in the name of Jesus. And he went in and out among them at Jerusalem, preaching boldly in the hand of the Lord. And he spoke and distributed against the Hellenists, and they were seeking to kill him. And then the brothers of Lamas, he had brought him down to Caesar, and sent him off to Tarsus. So the church there, all Jews and Galilee, and Samaritan, and peace, and was being brought up. And walking in the fear of the Lord and the comfort of the Holy Spirit, the light of life. Now, as Peter went here and there among them all, he came down also to the saints who lived at Little, and he found a man named Amos, who had ridden for eight years. He was at Paralyzed, and Peter said to him, Amos, Jesus Christ, he was, rise and make your bed. 
and immediately he rushed into the residence and lit at his chair and saw her. They tend they tend to look. Now they also drop a disciple named Tabitha Tablet, which translated means Dorcas. So full of good luck and actually chance. Charity, and on Thursday she became ill and died. And when they watched her, they laid her in the upper room. Since Lita was near Joppa, the disciples here with Pelio was sent to him and to him, urging him, Please come to us with that joy. So Pelio rose and met And he arrived, they took him to the upper room. And all the windows stood beside him. Widows stood beside him, weeping and chanting chants to the and, uh, and other garments that Dorcas made while she was with him. No, she, uh, Pia put them all inside and looked down and brings it into her body. He said, Tap with her eyes. And she opened her eyes and went to Pia. She saw Pia. She sat and he gave it to her and raised her up. And going to the same time, where she grew, he was in her lover. And it became known throughout all Joppa. And many believed in the Lord. And he stayed in Joppa for many days with, with one son at ten. Her sister, he found a man named Cornelius, and two new boys now. I see Italian Coca-Cola, a deaf out man who feared God with all his household, gave alms generously to the people and prayed continually to God. And about the ninth hour of the day, he saw clearly in the vision. An angel of God and Satan come in and said to him, Cornelius, and he said to him in terror, stared at him in terror and said, What is it, Lord? And he said to him, Your prayers and your alms have been sent as a memorial before God. And now said, Men to drop and bring one Simon, who is called Peter. And he was lodging with one Simon, a tanner, whose house is by the sea. And the angel who spoke with him had taught. He called two of his servants and a fat soldier from among those who had done him, and having related everything to him, he sent them to his job. The next day, he went on their journey and approaching the sea. He went up on the housetop um, about the sixth hour to pray, and he became hungry and wanted something to eat. And while they were preparing, he found a chest and saw the heavens open, and something like a great sheet descended. But he went down by the four corners upon the earth, and there were all kinds of animals. And reptiles and birds of the air. And there came a voice to why Peter killed me. And Peter said, By no means, Lord, I have never eaten anything, but anything that is common or unclean. And the voice came to him a second time. And what God has made clean, do not call common. This happened three times, and the thing was taken up at once to heaven. Now, while Peter was inwardly perplexed as to what the vision had that he had seen might mean, you know, the letter was sent by Camille. And when they inquired if a sign was still at the gate, stood the gate and came up to ask where the son the Peter was lodging it. And while Peter was pondering the vision, the spirit said to the spirit said to said to him, Behold, three men are looking for you. Why doesn't go down and accompany them without hesitation? I have sent them. And Peter went down to the men and said, I am the one you're looking for. What is the reason for your coming? And he said, Cornelius is in tune. And that way I got for you many people. I think of the whole Jewish nation. The whole Jewish nation. It was directed by a whole angel to send for you to, to come to his house and to hear what you have to say. So he invited the man to be his guest. And next he arrived and went away with him. And he went away with him. Some of the brothers from Joppa accompanied him. And on the holy day, they entered Shizuri. Cornelius was expecting him. And he called to him his relatives and close friends. And he had any Cornelius men in. And he fell down his feet and washed him. The people of Shizuri. So I took him there, and he talked to them, and he went and found many years since God. He said to you, know, you saw know how lovely it is. You're a Jew to a station. We have to go to visit anyone from another nation. Anyone of another nation. Of another nation. God has shown me that I should not call any person common or unclean. Common or unclean. And so when I was sent for, I came with an objection. I asked them why he sent for me. And Cornelius said, four days ago, about the hour, about the hour, I was praying in my house at the, at the ninth hour, and the holy man stood before me in bright clothing, and, and said, Cornelius, your prayer has been heard, and your arms have been remembered before God, before God. And I said, therefore, it's a job in us for Sam, who is called Pete, he's lodging in the house of he is lodging in the house of Simon Tanner by the sea. So I sent for you at once, and you've been kind enough to come. And therefore, we are all here in the presence of, in the presence of God to hear all that you have been commanded by the Lord. And I repeat over his mouth and said, Do you understand that God shows not partiality? And every nation, everyone who fears it, and does what he finds is acceptable to him. And as for the word that he sent to Israel, he should give news of peace through Jesus and Christ, 
Yes, I was never what happened to that old Judy. We were getting from Galilee after the baptism. I jumped with her. I got her knowledge of Jesus and I was with her. I was here and with her. And he wouldn't have to endure and he would know who oppressed the pet. Who oppressed by the devil. Who oppressed by the devil. But God was with her. He made a witness in the world that he gave birth in the country. Of the Jews and in Jerusalem. And they put him to death by hanging him on the tree. God raised him on the third day. God raised him on the third day and made him to appear. Not to all people, but to not to all people, but to us who have been chosen by God's witnesses, who uh, ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commanded us to preach to the people and testify. He is the one who put him back on to be to the living and the dead. He all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in me receives forgiveness of sins to his name. While Peter was still saying these things, still saying these things, the Holy Spirit fell on all who had the word. And the believers were one of the circles who had come with Peter from the nation. It was the gift of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit was it was poured out even on the gentle. And they were hearing them speaking in tongues and extolling God. And Peter declared, Can you withhold water for baptizing these people? For baptizing, baptizing these people. Uh, who have received the Holy Spirit just as we have. They command them to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. And they asked them to remain for some days. Now the apostles and the brothers said they are Jews, and that the Gentiles also have received the word of God. Then Peter went up to Judah. The second city of Holy used to criticize him and say, You went to uncircumcise me and ate with him. And Peter began and explained it to them in order. I was in the sea of Joppa praying, and in chance I saw a vision, something like a great sheep descending a drop, being let down in heaven by its four corners. And it came down to me, looking at it close, my eyes of animals and beasts of prey, and reptiles and birds of the air. And I heard a voice saying to me, Why have Peter killed me? I said, By no means, Lord, for nothing common or ugly has ever entered my mind. And the voice answered the second time, Go ahead, and what God's made clean to call common. And this happened three times, and all were drawn up to, uh, again to heaven. And behold, at that very moment, three men arrived at the house in which we were, and sent to me from Caesarea. And the Spirit told me to go with them, making no distinction. These six brothers are so accompanied to me. And we entered the man's house, and he told us how he is in the interest in his house and said, Send Job and bring some who is called Peter. He will declare you to you a message by which you will be saved. You know your house. So, as I begin to speak, the Holy Spirit fell on me, just on us in the beginning. And I will remember the word of the Lord. And I said, John baptized with the word, but he will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. And if then God gave the same gift to them as he gave to us, and if he believed in the Lord Jesus Christ, who was I and I only could stand in God's way. And when they had these things, they passed on. And they brought my God saying, and the Gentiles and so God has given to repentance that leads to life. And those who are scattered, scattered because of the persecution that arose over Stephen Jabba's far, as being seen in Cyprus and Antioch, seeking the word to no one except except the Jew, except Jews. And there were some of the men of Cyprus and Cyrene who came on, on coming to Antioch spoke to the Hellenists closer. And so I was preaching the Lord Jesus. And the hand of the Lord was with them, a great number who believed turned to the Lord. The report of this came uh, came to the ears of the church of Jerusalem. They sent Barnabas to Antioch. And when he came and saw the grace of God, he was glad. And he was glad, and he exhorted them all to remain faithful to the Lord with devil's purpose. For he was a good man, full of the Holy Spirit, and of, and of faith. And a great many people were added to the Lord. So Barnabas went to Tarsus to look for Saul, and when he found he brought him to Antioch. For a whole year they met with the church. And to a great many people. In Antioch, the disciples were the first called Christians. And on these days, prophets came down from the Jews and to Antioch. And one of them named Agabus stood up and foretold by his fear that there would be a great firm over all the world. But the disciples determined everyone had gone into his ability, ability to send relief to the brothers living in Judea. And they just were sending it to the elders by, hand, by the hand of Barnabas and Saul. Proverbs 18. Not for isolation, self six terms, so he breaks out against all sides. Who takes the inflation on the but only expressing his opinion. No one can tell this comes, contempt comes, as soon as the drama comes to speak. Went to a man's mouth on deep waters, and the fountain of wisdom is about the world. He's not good to be partial to the wicked, or to try the righteous or just. The most of us all can define his mouth and fight to be. His folks' mouth is his will, and his lips are snatched with some of the words of his mouth. I like to wish his mouth. He goes into it in the thoughts of his word. Where is like it? Where there is a brother to him, he destroys. And the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Strong tower, and the righteous man runs into it and he sees. The rich himself is a strong city, and like a high wilderness in imagination. 
and what it is a person is. The year before destruction is a man or a man's heart sword. And if he only comes before one, he wants to give us an answer before he hears it is a folly and shame. He wants to know your sickness with a crushed spirit who can bear. And the touch of heart are quite known, and the ear of the wise six knows. And when his gifts makes move for him, and brings him before the good, he wants to his case first and right until the other comes and examines him. The Lord puts an end to quarrels and decides to give him powerful contempt. Your brother offends more and yielding than a strong seed. And quarreling with it is like the bars of the castle. And the fear of the man's mouth is a stomach to satisfy. He is satisfied by the yield of his lips. Does the life run the power of the tongue? And lives in love and will eat its fruits. He finds a wife, finds a good thing, and obtains favor from them. For we should entreat with the rich and the roughly. The many, many companions may come to him, but there is a very sick person than above. Psalm, Psalm 84. I love when you see a dwelling place of the Lord of hosts, and I saw him long to He has faith for the courts of the Lord. My flesh and heart and flesh sing for joy to the living God. Even the sparrow finds a home with his fence to all find a nest for herself. Which you may lay a young at your altar to the Lord of hosts. I give my God, and the last of those who join your hands, I ever sing your praise. Those of those whose strength is in you, and you whose heart are the highways to desire. And as they go through the valley of back, and they make it a place of spirit, the only way is to cover it with balls. Paul, so you go from strength to strength, each one appears before God and say, The Lord God of hosts, whom I pray, give you a God of Jacob. Behold our shield, O God, look on the face of you and murder, for a day in your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. And I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God, and dwell in the tents of wickedness. The Lord God is a son and shield, the Lord bestows favour and honour, and no good thing does he withhold. And those who walk up rightly, the Lord of hosts, blesses the one who trusts in you. Now that's done, I shall now do the Lord's prayer. Raise your hands, and Father in heaven, and let be your name. If you don't come, you will be on earth as it is in heaven. He was to die of the apron, but he also dashed his Joseph Gill and Adeptus. He is not to temptation, but to nourish from the evil one. He is the king and the power and the glory of heaven. Amen. See you tomorrow. Bye.